Now I'm going to go and grant the role itself called develop to the user called developer. I'm going to log in to developer. And I'm going to check the user system privileges in the developer. I can see that the developer definitely doesn't have any system privileges. Now let's see if I can create a table whilst logged in as developer. So create table test with a single column, nice and simple. And no, I can't. The reason why is because I have revoked too many privileges from the developer user. What I need to do is I need to connect system and go back into my DBA user and I need to grant unlimited table space to developer. This is a privilege that cannot be accessed through a role. Now I will connect back into developer. And I will try to create a table again. And there we have it. So it's clear that the developer user still has access to system privileges. Although these system privileges do not come from this particular view. They are not direct system privileges other than the unlimited tables based system privilege. These privileges come from the role develop and we can find these by looking at the role sys devs view. And there we have it. All the system privileges granted to develop, the role develop, which is in turn granted to the user developer.